Both carters and combs are used to prepare fiber. A combed preparation will produce a different style of yarn than a carded one. Let's take a look at carding. Carding leaves the individual fibers jumbled. This preparation is good for creating woolen yarns that are springy, lofty, and fuzzy. To card fiber, place the locks on one card and brush lightly with a second. You will pass the fiber from card to card a few times. This type of preparation is appropriate for making row lags or roving. Hand carters are available in two primary styles, most commonly referred to as cotton or wool carters. The difference between the two is how far apart the teeth are spaced. Cotton carters have teeth that are closely spaced, making them a good choice for short stapled fine fibers such as cotton, angora, cashmere, and other down fibers. Wool carters' teeth are spaced further apart, making them a good choice for most wools and longer stapled fibers such as mohair. You will hear the teeth density expressed as either TPI or PSI. The higher the number, the more closely the teeth are packed. Carters are available with curved or straight backs. Fans of straight carters advocate that the teeth have more opportunity to come in contact with one another, while those that like curved backs think that you can achieve full contact by using a rocking motion. Deciding are curved or straight is a matter of personal preference. Carters come in different sizes. Many manufacturers offered standard sizing along with a student or mini version. The different sizes perform the same task. Keep in mind that the larger the card, the more work is accomplished per stroke. There are also other specialized carters, such as flick carters, that are used to flick the ends of a lock of fiber to open it up. Drum carters also create carded preparations. To learn more about how they work, check out our drum carding video on our YouTube channel. Now let's take a look at combing. Combs are used to prepare fiber that is aligned and of uniform length for spinning worsted style yarns that are smooth, dense, and hard wearing. The tines of the comb allow the longer fibers to be pulled off first, leaving behind any short or broken fibers and debris. The long, uniform fiber preparation is formed into top. Combs are also useful if you want to separate a dual coated fleece, such as Shetland or Icelandic. The long fibers are pulled off first, leaving the short fibers behind. At the Woolery, we carry two styles of combs, English and Viking. For both types of combs, the action is similar. One of the combs is stationary and the other performs the action. English combs are generally the larger of the two and because of their size are used with clamps or a base to hold the comb charged with fiber stationary. They have thick times arranged in rows or pitches of varying lengths. This style of comb moves through the fiber supply very quickly and efficiently. They are an excellent choice for medium to long stapled fibers. Viking combs are smaller in size and come with either a single or double row of tines. The tines are finer and the rows are closer together and of even length. Viking combs can be used with a base or you can hold both of the combs in your hands while you're working. With the purchase of any style comb, we include written instructions with color photos for easy reference. You can view these instructions online. Give us a call or visit our website to learn more about our wide selection of carters and combs, as well as books and DVDs about preparing fiber.